Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and I'm here to tell you how you can find black holes. Not only that, I'm going to tell you how you can find hundreds of black holes as well as finding your very own one that you can get your own discovered by tag on. Now these seem to be quite rare areas in the game, at least initially, but they're the sort of places that everyone wants to see. They are some amazing locations. It took me a long time in the game before I even saw a black hole and I thought they were exceedingly rare but as I've continued on my travels I've discovered exactly where these black holes are located and there are not merely hundreds of them, there are probably thousands and maybe even millions of them. As with everything else to do with exploration, it all begins on the galaxy map, so you're going to need to open this up. Now, this will involve you doing quite a few thousand light years of travel. I'm afraid there's no way around that particular aspect, but if you are into travelling, you won't mind that too much. If you're not into travelling, you should be able to do this within a few hours anyway, if you have a decent ship. So, it turns out that many black holes all exist on the same galactic plane as each other. Black holes are of course dotted all throughout the galaxy, but they seem to be concentrated on this particular level. So, to get yourself situated on this particular layer of the galaxy, you're going to need essentially a seed number or one of these black holes that are located in the region. So type in the system I've just typed up there in the search box. I will put this both in the description as well as a annotation to the video. And you can see this takes us straight to a black hole. Now this, as far as I'm aware, is an undiscovered black hole. I haven't been there myself, but I don't think anyone else will have been there either. So here you can see what I mean by the particular coordinates that these layers of black holes are located on. It is actually quite a way above the galactic core. So let's return back to that black hole I just typed in and we can see already there's a whole bunch of other black holes located around it. You can see one there and another one there. There's also quite a few off in the distance over here. And pretty much no matter where we move to you're going to see constantly more and more black holes. Now don't be fooled into thinking that these stars are spread a long way apart from each other. Generally speaking, most of these stars, they're highly condensed, so usually they're around about two to four light years away from each other. So the distances I'm covering here between black hole to black hole are by no means great. And you can do it probably with a single jump if you're in an ASP or something like that. You can see there just two light years between those, those two stars, for example. So in very general terms, no black hole is really more than 30 to 40 light years away from an neighboring black hole. And as I zoom out, again, you can see more of them. In fact, no matter how far I zoom out, there's always at least a couple of black holes within the screen. So I'm quite close here to the center of the galaxy. You can move about 10,000 light years closer to Sol and you still should find them. And there I just covered quite a bit of distance and as I zoom in, we should hopefully see a few black holes if we move around a bit. Sometimes you may have to search around for a very short while with the camera, but generally it won't be more than just a few seconds. And there you can see already we found a black hole. And basically I just zoomed in on a random location there from the galaxy map. So I'm going to do the same thing again, just speed along at a reasonable distance there. And there I've already located another one. Let's see how far we have to go again. Uh, is there any more around here? I'm willing to bet there will be. And there's another one. And there's a few more. There's actually quite a few there on that particular segment of the map. So I'm going to try and see how close we can get to Sol so that you can do the minimum amount of jumping if you actually want to. But it looks like we've probably gone out of range of any black holes now. So generally speaking, the minimum amount of distance you're going to need to travel to get to the area where the black holes are actually concentrated is around about 15,000 light years. The further you go from that, the more concentrated the area of black holes will get. Now, just to prove to you that it's not just this particular region that is concentrated with black holes, I'm just going to move over to another random location, zoom in and straight away you can see there are loads more black holes here. As I zoom in, you can see even more of them. In fact, no matter where I move to, you're going to find black holes. Now, it's obvious there are thousands upon thousands of stars here. These are all highly compacted, highly condensed, and there are hundreds upon hundreds of black holes. I can assure you that very few of these will be explored or discovered by other people. So if you do take the effort to come out here, you're going to get your very own black holes. You'll get the discovered by tag on at least 90% of these that you come across, probably more. 
I'm quite willing to bet that if every player in the game came out to these regions in search of a black hole and started looking for them, you would still be able to find black holes unique to you. There are literally that many stars out here and that many black holes. It is such a tight knit area that it would be pretty much impossible for all of these stars and these black holes to become discovered. In fact, Frontier have put the estimate for the time it will take players to uncover all stars in this galaxy into the many thousands of years. Now, there are other ways to discover black holes, and there are probably a few of them that are much closer to human inhabited space, although I'd suspect that most of them are already discovered by other players already. But if you want a surefire way to find black holes, and you want to find as many of them as you want to find, and on top of that you want to see them situated against gorgeous colours like the backdrop of the galactic core or nebula, then this is the place to come. No matter which side of the galaxy you look on, you will find that the density of black holes is more or less the same. So, I hope that helps a bit. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. i found another planetary nebula, and this one has a black hole at the centre of it. I travelled toward the black hole, got a little close and dropped out of super cruise. And now, here I am wondering whether I should turn back or whether I should work my way forward and see just how close I can get to this black hole.